you've been told that eating three square meals a day is healthy. That breakfast is the most important meal. But what if that advice is silently aging you? Day after day, bite after bite. Why do we age and how can we slow it down? That's been a question people have puzzled over for centuries. From a scientific standpoint, there's been many animal studies that have been done and really the only well-accepted way of preventing aging and extending lifespan is caloric restriction. Dr. Jason Fung is a Canadian nephrologist who has transformed the way we understand metabolic health. His groundbreaking research on metabolic diseases has exposed how the modern diet is fueling chronic diseases and aging. He believes intermittent fasting to be a radical solution to all these issues. In this video, Dr. Fung will discuss how our body reacts to the food we eat and the unique benefits of intermittent fasting. And that's not all, we'll also share Dr. Fung's secret fasting technique and how it allows you to take control of your health and slow down aging. But before that, let's understand possible causes of aging and related diseases. Aging is driven by several hidden enemies inside your body. The biggest culprits are cellular damage, chronic inflammation, and oxidative stress. Over time, your cells accumulate damaged proteins and mutated DNA, which your body struggles to clear. High insulin levels from frequent eating accelerate this process, blocking cellular repair. Mitochondrial dysfunction weakens energy production, while the protective caps on your DNA shorten with every cell division, leading to cell death. Add in environmental toxins, poor diet, and stress, and the result is accelerated aging both inside and out. Aging isn't random, it's the result of daily damage your body fails to repair. But before we continue, this content is provided for informational purposes only and is not a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Always consult a qualified healthcare provider with any questions about your health or a medical condition. Do not disregard professional advice or delay seeking it because of something you have read here. Now that we know the risk factor, Let's dive in. Studies on animals have consistently shown that eating fewer calories extends the life. And this goes back to the 1930s when pioneering work by Dr. Clive McKay showed that on rats, if you reduce the amount of calories, rats live longer. According to Dr. Jason Fung, every time you eat, aging speeds up. Inflammation takes over. And beneath the surface, the damage begins. Wrinkles form, cells mutate, fat accumulates, and diseases start growing in silence. Our ancestors went hours, sometimes days, without food. Their bodies were built to thrive in a fasted state. Today, we're eating from the moment we wake up to the moment we sleep, and it's killing us slowly. Constant eating is one of the biggest drivers of aging and chronic disease. So if you think your daily meals are keeping you healthy, think again. But it's not the food itself. It's what happens inside your body every time you eat. Dr. Jason Fung warns that the real enemy isn't just sugar or fat. It's the constant stimulation of insulin. Every snack, every sip of juice, every healthy granola bar spikes insulin. And when that hormone is always high, your body is stuck in storage mode, not healing mode. That means more fat is stored, damaged proteins pile up, dysfunctional cells multiply, and aging accelerates. This state of chronically high insulin levels is called hyperinsulinemia, and it's linked to nearly every major chronic disease, heart attacks, Alzheimer's, diabetes, even cancer but no one talks about it. Why? Because we've normalized eating all day long. Breakfast, snack, lunch, coffee with sugar, dinner, dessert. Our systems never get a break, never get to heal. It's great to have a fast car and it's great to be able to drive it all the time. So you rev the engine and you go very fast and it feels great, but 
The problem is that it's just not going to last as long. And that's the sort of idea. If you're going to keep growing, 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 well, you're revving your engine, you're revving your metabolism, and that's going to come at the cost of longevity. And therefore, in order to maximize longevity and health span, you actually have to take it a little bit on the slower side and try and reduce the growth. Dr. Fung describes it like a machine running nonstop. Eventually it overheats, it breaks down. That's your body. And if you never give it time to cool, repair, and reset, you're walking straight into illness. So while you think food is fuel, too much of it too often becomes a silent poison aging you from the inside out. Dr. Jason Fung made a discovery that turned conventional medicine on its head. The body doesn't just survive without food, it heals. And the savior is intermittent fasting. When you fast, something extraordinary happens inside your cells. Insulin levels drop. Your body flips from growth mode to repair mode. Autophagy is a way of breaking down subcellular components called organelles. And mitophagy is a way to break down mitochondria, which is the energy uh, producing part of the cell. And by breaking it down, you actually start to the process of rejuvenation. And in fact, is very important for longevity and another important way that calorie restriction and fasting can contribute. Fung explains that fasting activates a process called autophagy a cellular cleanup system where your body starts identifying and destroying weak, damaged, and aging cells. Imagine your body as a cluttered room filled with broken furniture and trash. Fasting is like hitting the reset button, allowing it to throw out the junk and rebuild stronger than before. But here's the catch. This healing switch only activates when you stop eating. Even a small snack can turn it off. That's why constant grazing keeps your body stuck in a state of slow decay. Even worse, studies show that without autophagy, dangerous cellular waste piles up and leads to oxidative stress, which is a major trigger of DNA damage and premature aging. But when you fast, even for 16 to 24 hours, autophagy kicks in. And with it, your body begins healing in ways no pill can replicate. Damaged mitochondria are removed. Senescent cells that accelerate aging are destroyed. Before we move on, if you are looking to dive deeper into the fasting benefits, be sure to subscribe to the VitaZen Health Newsletter linked below. Each week, we share expert-backed tips, delicious recipes, and actionable steps to help you live longer and feel your best delivered right to your inbox. Dr. Fung calls fasting the most powerful drug-free anti-aging tool ever discovered. It doesn't cost a thing. It's available to everyone. Yet most people will never use it because we've been taught to fear hunger when in reality, hunger could save your life. Because sometimes the best way to heal is to do absolutely nothing. Calorie restrictions helps particularly with fasting is the process called autophagy or mitophagy. And this too is a catabolic process. It's a process of breaking down, just like apoptosis, but apoptosis is a way of breaking down cells. Autophagy is a way of breaking down subcellular components called organelles. And mitophagy is a way to break down mitochondria, which is the energy uh, producing part of the cell. And by breaking it down, you actually start to the process of rejuvenation. And in fact, is very important for longevity and another important way that calorie restriction and fasting can contribute. Another way we talk about is hormesis, which is that a small amount of something that's harmful can actually be beneficial. Just like things like exercise can be beneficial, it's a form of stress. If you have too much, it's very bad for you, but a little bit makes your body respond and get stronger. So calorie restriction and fasting do the same thing. It puts a stress on the body and it increases 
the ability of your body to handle this sort of stress. That is, if your body needs a metabolic flexibility between uh, fat oxidation and um, carbohydrate oxidation, that calorie restriction is gonna make it easier because your body's gonna have to do it. So it's a form of hormesis, that is a little bit of stress on the body to make it stronger. And the final way that calorie restriction can really uh, improve lifespan and health span is the decrease in oxidative stress or free radicals. We talked in our previous video about free radicals and these are substances which are missing an electron and this makes it very damaging to the body. And in fact, you can take antioxidants to counteract that, but when you have this decreased inflammation that you see with calorie restriction, you're also going to see this decreased oxidative stress because your body's going into more of this maintenance and repair phase instead of growth. So there's a lot of different ways that calorie restriction can lead to increased longevity, but also increased health. Certain uh, cultures do that naturally. They naturally eat very little, for example, or in the case of Okinawa, they have a tradition where they will stop eating before they're full. They will make a conscious decision to eat only until they're 80% full, not 100% full. And in fact, those are some of the longest lived people in the world. Another way that is very good is intermittent fasting, and this is what most people have done. If you look at most religions and most cultures, they have a period of fasting, whether it's once a year or a whole month at a time or certain parts of the year or a few days at a time. It's all different, but all of them have the same sorts of tradition that yes, food is available, but for a period of time, I am going to not eat that food. Not because it's fun, it's not fun, but because it's something that's really healthy to do. The moment you stop eating, your body doesn't panic. It activates survival mode, but not the kind that breaks you down. According to Dr. Jason Fung, this is when your body becomes smarter, sharper, and more resilient. Within just 12 to 16 hours of fasting, your insulin levels plummet. And when insulin is low, your body stops storing fat and starts burning it for fuel. This process is called ketosis, but that's just the beginning. At the 24 hour mark, uh, autophagy intensifies. Your immune system begins to regenerate. Inflammation starts to fade. Your gut repairs itself. Damaged DNA gets cleaned up. And your brain? It gets flooded with a brain protective hormone linked to better memory mood, and learning. Push further to 36 or 48 hours, and stem cells, yes, the same ones used in expensive anti-aging therapies, start to multiply. Your body begins rebuilding itself from the inside out. Studies from Harvard and MIT show that intermittent and prolonged fasting boosts autophagy that can improve longevity, enhance brain health, reduce cancer risk, and even slow cellular aging. But here's the dark truth. If you never fast, none of this happens. Instead, you're left with chronically high insulin, low energy, slow metabolism, and a growing risk of metabolic diseases. Dr. Fung puts it simply, the body was designed too fast. It's not a health hack, it's a survival mechanism. So the question is, are you letting that healing power go to waste or Will you finally step into what your body was built to do? Repair, regenerate, and thrive? You might not feel it now, but disease doesn't start with symptoms. It starts in silence. Years before diagnosis, your body is already breaking down. And fasting might be the only way to stop it. Let's start with type 2 diabetes, a condition driven by insulin resistance. When you fast, insulin levels drop, sensitivity improves, and blood sugar stabilizes. Dr. Fung has even used fasting to help patients reverse diabetes entirely without medication. Next is cancer. Cells that grow out of control feed on one thing more than anything else, glucose. Fasting cuts off that fuel. It also activates autophagy, which destroys precancerous cells before they become a threat. 
Then, there's Alzheimer's, often called type 3 diabetes, due to its link with insulin resistance. Fasting has been shown to improve brain function, reduce oxidative stress, and protect neurons. Heart disease, obesity, fatty liver, autoimmune conditions, the list goes on. If you're always eating, you're always feeding disease. But when you fast, you're starving it. The body knows how to heal, but only if you get out of the way. And that starts by giving it time, real time, time without food. But how exactly to start? Dr. Jason Fung shares his secret technique. If you simply increase your fasting from 12 hours, which is a sort of normal situation to say 16 hours, then you have something called a 16-8, which is 16 hours of fasting and eight hours of eating. Some people also say this is simply shrinking your eating window. So for example, you might eat from 11 in the morning to 7 p.m. That's eight hours during which you eat and the 16 hours where you don't eat. So during that 16 hours, you allow your body to kind of pull the energy back out and burn it for energy. If you've never fasted before, Dr. Fung recommends beginning with the 16-8 method. Fast for 16 hours, eat within an eight hour window. This could mean skipping breakfast or having your first meal at noon. During the fasting window, drink water, black coffee, or herbal tea. No snacks, no sugar. Why 16 hours? The body needs that amount of time for insulin to drop, for autophagy to kick in, and for your cells to start repairing themselves. If you can handle 16 hours, try extending to 18.6 or 24. Over time, you'll push your body into a deeper state of healing. Once you're comfortable with intermittent fasting, you can step it up with 24-hour fasts once or twice a week. A 24-hour fast can be as simple as fasting from dinner one day to dinner the next. Dr. Fung's method is all about balance, using fasting as a tool to reset your metabolism and give your body the time it needs to heal. Moreover, fasting isn't starving. It's intentional, controlled healing. Starvation happens when you're deprived of food for extended periods and your body breaks down muscle and fat for energy. But with fasting, you're giving your body time to repair itself, to clean out damaged cells, and to restore balance. When done correctly, fasting revives your cells, whereas starving destroys them. The stores of food on your body, that is the body fat um, and the glycogen. And this is a normal process. It happens every day. When you eat, you store energy. When you don't eat, you pull the food energy back out. You're not just aging, you're actively feeding the diseases that will shorten your life. Every time you eat, you're spiking insulin, promoting inflammation, and blocking your body's ability to repair itself. Dr. Jason Fung's warning is clear. If you don't take control now, the consequences will be inevitable. Cancer, diabetes, heart disease, Alzheimer's. These aren't just possibilities, they're probabilities when you ignore your body's need for fasting. You have the power to change your future. The question is, Will you start fasting today, or will you wait until the damage is done? So, that is all intermittent fasting and its revolutionary anti-aging and anti-disease benefits. However, it's important to eat nutrient-dense meals during your eating window. Healthy fats, protein, and lots of vegetables to fuel your body properly. It's crucial to listen to your body. If you feel weak or dizzy, start with shorter fasts and gradually build up. The goal is to make fasting a lifestyle, not a temporary fix. In our next video, let's find out natural foods that you should include in your diet to keep your body in a balanced state.